The right location was extremely important. The rolling hills that we have here are covered with trees. It's a long ways away from any activity, so it's quiet. It lends itself well to the privacy that, that people generally like to have when they contemplate. The Cloisters on the Platte is a spiritual Ignatian retreat. It was the brainchild of Mr. Joe Ricketts. It's something that he has personally experienced that he wants to share with others, predominantly of Christian faith, but of any faith. Uh, people who want to get closer in their walk with God and experience that. I believe in God and I believe in the power of prayer. And my favorite prayer is the Ignatian Spiritual Weekend. This is a movement that begins with recognizing God is the creator and that everything he made is good. The goal is to realize a deeper level of how Christ is our King. I wanted it to be different than what people experience at home or at work that would allow the retreatants the ease of getting into the contemplative mode. It's deeper than just sightseeing. It's truly an opportunity to get closer to God. And a lot of that's going to have to do with being closer to God's creation. It's going to be quiet, and that can be intimidating at first. As you settle in, it just starts coming. You just start feeling comfortable with the silence. You don't want it to end because you've just entered into this rest. You let go of some of those other connections in order to focus on the most important connection of your life, which is your connection with God. There's a kind of beauty at a retreat house that is not about luxury. You have the beauty of quiet and even silence. The real beauty will be to use that silence to let God encounter us. That's the goal. Saint Ignatius is common to all Christian religions. He designed these spiritual exercises to bring people closer to Jesus Christ. And in fact, that's what Christianity is, is all about. We're bombarded with so much in our society. And to just be able to stop, meditate, pray, it's really an important part and just really adds to your own tranquility. Just take the time to spend three days in prayer and silence to find God, the payoff is tremendous. I've come away with a better understanding of my own humanity and the humanity of others. It changed my life, and I would recommend that to everyone. You gotta give it a chance. The silent part is what you really need, and especially in this world the way it is, you gotta give yourself time to unwind and to reflect on what your life is. If you have never afforded yourself the luxury to go on an Ignatian retreat, you ought to do it once to see if it's the kind of thing that really gives you the spiritual fulfillment that you would like.